Hey everybody, Home Slice Henry here, and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at another buffed Pokemon from Season 12, Tackle Xerneas in the Open Master League. Xerneas is a pure fairy type Pokemon with the moveset of Tackle, Close Combat, and Moonblast. Xerneas is now the strongest Master League Pokemon in the Zero Shield, posting a 72% meta win rate, but it struggles in shielded scenarios, meaning that if you're going to want to use Xerneas, you definitely want to get shields down. So without further ado, let's hop into the matches and check out Xerneas in action in the Master League. Hopping into the first match, picking up a pretty decent lead Dialga into Mamoswine. I'm going to be staying in this lead to start. They do outpace me, but these Dragon Breaths are absolutely chunking. They're going to fire off a move. I decide to call an Avalanche. It is an Avalanche, and I'm going to return fire with the Iron Head. This will easily KO. I'm expecting a shield, and then I'm going to save switch into Shadow Mewtwo. The goal of Shadow Mewtwo on this team is to get all of my opponent's shields, so that way it clears Xerneas to close in the Zero Shield scenario. My opponent makes a beautiful catch, catching my Psy Strike onto their Yveltal. That is quite unfortunate. They're going to fire off a move, but since I have a shield advantage, I'm honestly going to commit a shield and try and get their final shield if possible. I'm going to fire off the Flamethrower. Flamethrower gets the shield from Yveltal. Opponent over farms and they play into a CMP tie that they lose. Let's go. Flamethrower, massive damage. I'm going to let this go and then bring in Xerneas because now that shields are down, Xerneas can unleash its might. In the back, they have Zacian. Zacian continuing to farm up. They're farming up a ton of energy. Regardless of what they throw here, I'm going to be able to tank it. They fire off the play rough. I let that through. I'm going to farm up and fire off the Moonblast. This is going to do massive damage onto the Zacian. Moonblast lands, able to take them out. We know they still have the Mamoswine. Mamoswine does have some energy, but they need to reach double Avalanche. In comes Mamoswine. They are not able to get there. Close combat will take out the Mamoswine. We're going to be able to tackle down the Aveltal. And that is a good game. Hopping into the next match, picking up an incredibly good lead Dialga into Kyogre. Opponent will immediately save switch into their own Dialga, and I'm going to be staying in here to start. I'm going to farm all the way up to the Draco Meteor, bait with the Iron Head to hopefully grab a shield, and then I'm going to bring in Shadow Mewtwo. Iron Head gets the shield, in comes Shadow Mewtwo. My opponent continues to farm up, and they fire off their Iron Head just before I'm able to reach a move. I will commit a shield on the Iron Head, over farm slightly, and go for the Psy Strike. Psy Strike will easily KO from this range. Opponent commits the final shield, and as I mentioned at the beginning, that is exactly what I need. If I can just get shields down, then Xerneas performs quite well. I'm gonna overform slightly and fire off the Psy Strike. Psy Strike is easily going to KO from this range, and if they bring back in the Kyogre, I should be able to reach a Psy Strike. They do, and this Psy Strike is going to hurt. This is going to be getting Kyogre extremely low. Opponent brings in their final Pokemon, which is Excadrill. Excadrill is going to outpace me here and go for the Drill Run, but I do tank this Drill Run pretty nicely. And you know what Excadrill doesn't tank? A close combat. Xerneas reaches the close combat. Close combat, one-shots the Exca. In comes Kyogre. Opponent sees the writing on the wall and concedes the match. Tough lead in the next match, Dialga into Zacian. Immediate save switch into Shadow Mewtwo, and my opponent responds with their own Dialga. I'm gonna farm up to the back-to-back -back side strikes. Let's see if we can start getting some shields down. I'm gonna fire off the first Psy Strike. It does massive damage, and I'm firing off the second one right away. Opponent will need to commit the shield here, and they do. They can overfarm quite a bit here, and they're gonna fire off their Iron Head just before I'm able to reach my Psy Strike. But I need to get that final shield. So I do commit a shield, and I'm firing off the Psy Strike here, hoping they commit the shield, and they do. And this should set up Xerneas nicely in the end game. I'm going to bring in my own Dialga. They're actually going to pivot into the Zacian, and I'm going to fire off the Iron Head. This is going to do massive damage, and then I can really safely bring in my Xerneas to farm down. In comes Xerneas. Xerneas is going to be able to tank whatever they throw and fully commit to the farm down. They fire off the play rough. That does quite a lot of damage. Xerneas able to farm down before they reach their next play rough. That is massive. Opponent does still have the Dialga, and Dialga has a move. I'm going to commit the shield, and you know what? I think I might be able to tackle down here. Xerneas going for the tackle farm down. Xerneas gets the farm down in the back. They have Yveltal, and this game is over. Moonblast will do massive damage onto Yveltal. Xerneas, 
not gonna go for the farm down, going for the close combat to ensure the victory. And that is a good game. Hopping into the next match, leading Dialga into Palkia. Absolutely fantastic lead. Opponent will need to immediately save switch out of here. They save switch into Zacian, and I respond with Shadow Mewtwo. This Zacian is running Quick Attack, which is now a viable fast move for Zacian. Side Strike is going to deal a massive amount of damage. Mewtwo can typically force a shield in this matchup or take switch advantage. They fire off the player up. That does so much damage, but Mewtwo able to hang on and is going to be able to reach a second Psy Strike. Psy Strike gets a shield. Unfortunately, I'm not able to get both shields in this matchup, but I'm at least able to get one. I am going to be able to live a move here, so I am going to let that go. They're actually a play rough wild charge Zacian, so thankfully I don't get hit with the close combat. In the back, they have Ho-Oh, and I'm going straight for the Draco Meteor. This is going to basically KO or get the final shield. Draco Meteor able to get the shield. They switch into Palkia. In comes Xerneas. Opponent sees the writing on the wall and concedes the match. Hopping into the next match, leading Dialga into the mirror. I am definitely going to be staying in this lead to start. I'm just going to farm up to the Draco Meteor. Opponent farming up. They actually decide to fire off an Iron Head. I'm going to let this go, bank the energy, and then save switch into Mewtwo. I'm trying to save switch into Mewtwo. The game is stuttering. In comes Mewtwo, and I don't know how much energy they got on their Dialga during the lag. I'm going to fire off Psy Strike. Psy Strike, able to grab a shield from my opponent. They're going to fire off an Iron Head to force a shield, and I'm going to be firing off my Psy Strike onto their Dialga. I farm up here, going for the Psy Strike, but my opponent makes an absolutely unreal catch as they catch Psy Strike onto their Lugia. And this is a purified Apex Lugia as well, so it looks incredible. I'm gonna fire off my Draco Meteor. Draco Meteor is not going to be enough to KO here. They're able to tank it, but I switch into Xerneas and I'm able to absorb the damage. I should be able to farm down with tackles before they're able to reach their next Sky Attack. But if you notice, I wasn't able to get both shields and that is actually going to cost me in this match because they're going to bring in Dialga. I'm going to fire off the close combat. Close combat will be able to take down the Dialga if they let it go, but they commit the shield in the back is Kyogre, and I'm just going to die to fast moves at this point. I fire off the Moon Blast. This will do a lot of damage on a Kyogre. Kyogre is going to be able to farm down, and Kyogre is going to get my Dialga low enough that unfortunately, I'm going to get fast moved down by their Dialga. I'm going for the farm down here. I do get the farm down, but I'm just too low. They have more HP, and they have an Iron Head. My opponent plays extremely well, and we lose a close game. Tough lead in the next match, Dialga into Zacian. I save switch into Shadow Mewtwo, and I'm able to bait out Giratina Altered. It's very nice to bait out the Giratina, because due to Xerneas having tackle, it's not really a great matchup going up against either Giratina. I'm gonna let this through. Giratina is going to be firing off an Ancient Power. I'm able to tank it, and I will be able to force a shield. A second side strike from a Shadow Mewtwo should just about KO, so they are going to commit the shield. Unfortunately, I do get farmed down before I'm able to reach a third move. I'm gonna bring in Dialga, shield nothing, fully farm down, and that way I should leave with close to an Iron Head to threaten the Zacian when it comes back in. They're gonna fire off another move. Again, I'm not gonna be shielding this. I'm gonna fully commit to the farm down. Opponent gives up switch advantage, and they switch in Zacian. I'm gonna be firing off the Iron Head. Iron Head would do a ton of damage if it lands. They commit the shield. I'm gonna farm up, switch into Zacian, and hopefully I was able to catch the close combat here. Moment of truth, it is the close combat. That is a massive, massive catch. They're going to be firing off another move. I'm going to commit the shield, and it is the play rough. Play rough would do quite a lot of damage here. I'm going to continue to farm up. You know what? I will actually commit that final shield. They actually throw just the close combat. I'm trying to go for the farm down. They bring in Giratina. It's going to be tough to double resist and tackle down a Giratina, but I'm going to try. They go for the Ancient Power. I'm able to tank it. Xerneas able to get the farm down, and I leave with so much energy loaded. The question is, what do they have in the back? We know about the Zacian. They have a Dragonite, and this Dragonite is about to get absolutely vanquished by Moonblast. I'm able to farm down. I leave with the Moonblast loaded to be able to take out the Zacian. Xerneas putting in so much work in the Zero Shield, and that is a good game. Hopping to the next match, leading Dialga into another mirror match. 
Like last time, I am going to be staying in here to start and hoping to try and grab shield advantage. I'm going to be farming up here. I actually clicked the Iron Head slightly early. I definitely should have made sure that I farmed all the way up to a Draco. Either way, my opponent commits the shield. As soon as I got the shield, honestly, I think I should have safe switched into the Mewtwo because I choose to stay in, let my Dialga go, and if they happen to have a Giratina in the back, I'm now in a tremendous amount of trouble because my best Giratina counter is gone. They're gonna fire off the Iron Head. I'm gonna stay in here, farm up to the back-to-back -back side strikes, fire off one, which should be enough to KO the Dialga, and then I have energy for whatever they have in the back, and it's Kyogre. I'm gonna fire off the side strike. This is gonna do a ton of damage. Kyogre able to hang on. Kyogre going for the farm down, but Mewtwo says no. Able to reach another side strike. Side strike gets the shield. In comes Xerneas. They're gonna fire off a move. Surf does not do a lot, so I'm gonna let this go. We'll have to see what they have in the back. And they have a Shadow ho -Oh. This is quite unfortunate because ho -Oh is gonna be resisting all of my charge moves. I'm gonna fire off the close combat. Close combat is gonna do a solid chunk of damage. The question is, can a second close combat KO? I really need it to. This is gonna be close. Xerneas farming up, going for a second close combat. I need this to KO or the incinerate takes me out. ho -Oh lives on one HP and unfortunately I lose a heartbreakingly close game. Hopping into the next match, picking up a Nightmare lead Dialga into Excadrill. I'm gonna need to immediately save switch into Shadow Mewtwo. Exca is gonna stay in and fire off the drill run. This is gonna do a ton of damage, but I do survive one. So I'm gonna let that through, farm up a bit, and then go for the flamethrower. I'm hoping to try and catch them off guard. Flamethrower does get shielded, my opponent taking no chances. I am quite low, but the mud shots are not doing a lot of damage. I'm gonna commit the shield, because if they're gonna stay in here, I'm gonna make sure I get that final shield so I can set Xerneas up for success. I go for the Psy Strike bait. Psy Strike does get the shield, that's big. I'm gonna commit my final shield here. The thing I have to watch for is a potential snipe or a catch. I'm gonna continue to farm up. In comes Palkia, and I'm gonna fire off the last second Psy Strike. This is gonna do a massive amount of damage to Palkia. Palkia able to take me out, but I'm gonna be able to farm down with my Dialga. Dialga able to take them out. They're probably bringing back in the Exca, and when they do, I'm gonna have to switch out. They do bring back in the Exca, and I'm gonna bring in Xerneas. Xerneas is gonna be able to tank the drill run, no problem. They fire off the drill run. I should be able to reach the close combat here, and I fire it off just before they're able to get to their next drill run. This will easily KO the Exca. What do they have in the back? They have Zacian. Zacian continuing to farm up. They're gonna fire off a move, but at this point, they've taken enough tackle damage where this should be Iron Head range. In comes Dialga. Dialga farming up. Dialga able to get to the Iron Head. This Iron Head will be taken care of the Zacian as we clutch a very close win. Hopping into the final match, leading Dialga into Lugia. I'm going to be staying in this lead because it's a pretty decent matchup for Dialga, even though these Dragon Tails are definitely adding up. I'm going to farm up and fire off the Draco Meteor before they're able to reach the Aeroblast. This will do a ton of damage if it lands, which it does, getting the Lugia quite low. Lugia is going to fire back with the Aeroblast. I'm going to be letting this through. Aeroblast does a ton of damage. In comes Shadow Mewtwo. My opponent is going to respond with Exca. No baiting here. I'm going straight for the flamethrower. Do they respect it? They do not! Excadrill gets absolutely flame cooked. Back in comes Lugia. Lugia able to reach a last second sky attack. I'm going to shield up and fully commit to the psycho cut farm down here. Shadow Mewtwo able to farm down. Opponent sees the writing on the wall and concedes the match. And now some final thoughts on Xerneas in the Open Master League. First off, the good. Xerneas is incredible in the zero shield. If you're able to get your opponent's shields down in the zero to zero, Xerneas boasts an incredible 72% meta win rate, meaning that if you can get your opponent's shields down, it's typically going to be able to finish the game for you. The downside, however, is that Xerneas struggles a lot in shielded situations, especially the two shield. In the two shield, that meta win rate drops from 72% to only 25%, meaning that if you're unable to get your opponent's shields down, Xerneas honestly becomes a pretty big liability. This is a Pokemon that can be quite successful in the Master League. However, if you do not have a specific plan to make sure that you can get it into shields down scenarios, 
it's a Pokemon that can also struggle quite a bit. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're enjoying the content, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And a special thank you as always to our members here on YouTube. The support you guys provide is absolutely incredible. So thank you guys oh so very much. And until next time, I've been Home Slice Henry.